All righty. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. So excited to be on this evening with two, and well, myself makes three, two of the attending uh, authors of BookFest Dallas, Fort Worth. I've been reminded that it's Dallas, Fort Worth. I'm more in the Fort Worth area than I am in Dallas. So, you know, I have to logistically be correct and everything that uh, we do. So, Super excited, super excited to be on this evening, and um, I'm so excited that they are on with me tonight. Yay! And so, um, let me let me make sure I've got everybody unmuted and all that good stuff. Say something to me. Hey! Hey! Yay! Yay! Good. Okay. So, um, super excited tonight to be on with two other authors that will be attending a book fest Dallas. Now I know you're wondering, Julia, what book fest Dallas Fort Worth? You're going to Dallas Fort Worth? Yes, I'm going to Dallas Fort Worth. Coming to Dallas Fort Worth area on uh, February 9th. We're going to be at the Northeast Mall, and that's in Hearst, kind of Bedford, because I'm staying in a hotel, like in Bedford, yeah. Texas. Mm -hmm. So um, that area too. I had to make sure that I was logistically correct. Now, um, we were going to be there February 9th, Northeast Mall, Hearst, Texas, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., right there in the center of the mall. I always want to be in the center, center court, in the center heart of the mall, right outside the J.C. Penney's and not too far from the food court. Yes. And, <laughs> uh, and so we're super excited. We've got genres um, for everyone, for adults, for children. Um, nonfiction, fiction, romance, fiction, children's poetry. You know, I'm bringing uh, the pop up bookstore with me. But I'm super excited of some authors that I know and have met that are on with me this evening. There are other authors that I have not met, and I can't wait to hug and grab them around the neck. As a matter of fact, I have never hugged Yvette yet, but uh, we've worked together uh, for a while, and I'm super duper excited. She's in the Houston area. I'm going to start with you, Bet. Um, she's in the Houston area, and uh, we're going to be doing some more things this fall. So what I want Yvette to do, Yvette Fleming is the author of uh, a wonderful book, a very heartfelt uh, book, and I want her to introduce that book and where she's from and tell us about it and how we can buy it and how we can support it and really um, just a little bit, Yvette, why you wrote it and all that good stuff. Take it away. Hi, I'm Yvette Fleming from Houston, Texas. Um, the book is called Grief Ministry, and I wrote the book after the passing of my mother. Uh, it was an outlet for me. Um, I needed something other than to just maybe talk to a counselor. I needed a way out um, to, to, uh, to grieve. And this was my way. So the book is Grief Ministry. And in the book, I just, you know, I talk about my mom. I talk about ways to cope, um, ways to get through the grief process. And um, I show you different uh, scenarios of, of different griefs, uh, uh, people grieving. And um, there is also uh, words of encouragement. And there's a place for you to also write your thoughts or, you know, comments or whatever you want to write in the book it's a little journal in the book as well i am just i was super excited her her book is like one of my favorite covers do you have one of your books handy oh um, hold on don't worry don't worry i got you okay i got you i got you wow okay oh, so that yeah. that is her that is her um book cover it's one of my favorites of course that picture is gorgeous too as well oh my, God. It's one of my favorite of um book covers of all time the grief ministry is really um you know just this is just a powerpoint that i put together that i wanted everybody to be able to see the book and uh it's one of my favorites her picture is gorgeous and just really excited about uh, what it means and you know another thing to me um, it is a very heartfelt story it is an easy read but mm -hmm. I think people are able to connect with it you know when I read it I was like yes people will be able to connect with it and it's not judgmental it doesn't oh. tell you how you have to grieve as much as it is 
you pick your way and you pick your uh, method of grieving and just as long as you get it out. And that's, to me, one of the critical things and important things is that uh, the grieving process. You know, we've been, some people have been taught, oh, don't cry, oh, don't. And I'm like, no, uh, I think, you know, we need to grieve how we need to. And um, I think this is one way that is heartfelt and really um, walks you um, through her processing. And I know that people will be able to identify with it. We'll be able to say, yeah, I felt the same way or, oh, wow, I better hold on to this book and pass it to a friend because I know they may be going through the same thing right now themselves. So I just wanted you to be able to see um, her book, which is, which I love the cover grief ministry and also it's available of course on amazon barnes and noble it's uh in ebook format as well um so i want you to be able to see that but more importantly she's coming from houston all the way to fort worth so i want those that are in the area to be sure and if you're not in the area but you know somebody who lives in the area go ahead and share this broadcast go ahead and share this out to say girl they have something at that mall you need to be there. You need to go there. Because another thing, too, is besides uh, meeting other authors, you have the opportunity to meet with me, a publisher, face-to-face. -face. There are publishers all over the country, and but sometimes you're not able to actually walk up to them and actually talk to them and mm -hmm. shake their hand and get their card and pick their brain and, and be able to ask them questions face-to-face -face because we do so much via technology. So come out February 9th and be with us, uh, meet and support all of the authors, uh, and of course, be able to be blessed by their presence. And also, if you've always wanted to write a book, I'm not only a publisher, but um, Dr. Cassandra Bradford is too, as well. She publishes and helps authors write and helps authors create products and services for their books as well. So you'll have at least two I don't know if the other ladies publish as well, but you'll be able to pick two publishers' brains. And Tanya White will be there. She's a writing coach as well. So, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's going to be a wonderful, fantastic experience. There's a, 11 of us all together. So there's going to be tons of books and tons of experiences for you to be able to get the information that you need. So I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Cassandra Bradford. And she's going to tell you about her, her book, and all that good stuff. Go. <laughs> uh, I'm Dr. Cassandra Bradford, and I've written seven books, but the book that I want to talk about today is 21 Ways to Create Relational Currency. <laughs> and it talks about the power that women have in building relationships in business, and how, how does that transcend uh, across state lines and globally? And so 21 Ways to Create Relational Currency teaches you uh, that it's not really about you, it's about the other person. Uh, and if you remember anything about vision and values and cross-functional marketing back in the 80s, uh, basically it's almost the same concept, uh, but it talks about the power that we have in bu building relationships based on commonality. And then how do we take someone else's business with us uh, when we travel out of the city or out of the United States. And so 21 Ways to Create Relational Currency is what I do every day. I love building relationships with people that I know, like, and trust and uh, that are looking to, um, uh, you know, I, I, people love to say, you know, my network is my net worth. So I have to ask people, well, then how much money are you, uh, is your network worth? And people can't answer that question because my network is very valuable to me. So that's what it's about. That's wonderful. Um, that, you know, that, that network is your net worth. And uh, I tell you what, my network has expanded greatly since meeting these ladies and, and meeting others. It is about relationships. Um, that whole relationship currency piece um, is, is needed and necessary, not just in business, but with Yvette's book, with uh in grieving and when you have a, a time of trauma i remember when the hurricane came through and so mm -hmm. i'm on i had i have several authors especially in the houston area so i was on instant message are you all right or, you know where's the water 
are you safe? And she's like, well, you know, I still got to pay for the rest of my book. I said, oh, wait a minute, we can get that done. Hold on, do you have food, clothes, shelter? Are you, <laughs> on, you know, the, it's all about relationships. And I was like, okay, yeah, we'll get the book done. I promise it'll get done. Are you all right? That's the yeah. most important thing, you know, is that, you know, life, <laughs> as they say, old folks who say life, health, and strength. That's it right there. That's the mm-hmm. basis. That's where we start. All right. We'll worry about the book later. And yeah, I'm all about my business, but I'm all about people. You got to be people first. Yes. You can't do business, you know, unless uh, we have relationships with the people. So you better tell you, I was like, hold on, hold on. Uh, where y'all at with the hurricane? All right. And you know, <laughs> okay, y'all all right. Because our relationships and making those connections is so critical. And I know people complain about technology that, oh, it isolates us, but I don't know. It's, it's allowed me to meet people that, you know, I wouldn't normally have met just trying to go one by one, one yes. at a time. One, you know, it just multiplies things, uh, the multiplicity of people, and it just multiplies instantly. And, uh, you know, just I'm just finding the benefits of that. So you definitely want to get that book. If you cannot have her sign it uh, directly, be sure and order the book order the book online, Amazon, it's available, uh, where all uh, distribution outlets are, and uh, be sure and do that, because it's it will transform not only your business, but definitely your whole life, so I'm not going to keep you all along, I just wanted to get on tonight, we'll be back on um, Monday night, um, February the 4th, and that'll be the week of travel, I'll be making sure all my books are together, and everything is together to be ready to be at Bookfest Dallas Fort Worth on Saturday, February the 9th. Saturday, February the 9th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We've been talking about this for seemingly a long, long time, but I'm super excited about uh, being able to see them and being able to see other people's books and help them promote. Now, um, after um, we head to um, Dallas, the next stop is Nashville. So if you're an author in the area, um, March 16th, we're headed to Nashville. So that's our next big stop, um, for our own hosted book fest. But if you're in the Louisville, Jeffersonville area, I have a class Saturday. If you want to come face to face in person, go to finally finish the book and, and register. I have an online class on February the 12th. And then Book Fest, uh, I'll be uh, in Dallas, February 9th. Aren't you getting tired? I'm getting tired of listening to my schedule. And then <laughs> after that, <laughs> after that, that's what happens when you retire from a regular job. Mm. After that, February the 20th through the 23rd, I'll be in D.C., Washington, D.C., at the International Worship and Artist Summit. Um, um, Dr. Teresa Harrison and uh, also uh, Vashawn Mitchell, are on that uh, uh, leadership of that organization with Gospel Heritage. So I'm super excited about that because that's my artist, that's my singer side. So I get to do all my worlds in one month, Dallas, and then we're going to DC. So super excited about that. Then March is Nashville. I'm super excited over the top. This is what I sat in my classroom and said, you know, one day I'm not going to be chasing down and and arguing and trying to correct other people's kids. I'm going to be, I'm doing it now. I'm living my dream. (laughs) (laughs) I'm living my dream. When they were able to turn me loose, I said, I'm out. Peace. (laughs) I called over there about something because I have a kindergarten teacher that I want to preview a new picture book of mine. And the lady on the, you you didn't come. I mean, you didn't miss. I mean, you haven't been back to visit us. (laughs) No, I don't know when. I can't tell you a date. Okay, thank you. Love you. Bye. (laughs) Uh, Because I'm living my dream and doing my thing. So I'm Julia Royson. That's Dr. Cassandra Bradford. And that's Miss Yvette Fleming. We are blessed to be a blessing. Authors getting our message to the masses and turning our words into wealth. And we are book business bosses. You all have a great night. More to come. Be blessed. Bye-bye.